Kendrick Lamar isn't the only one fed up with these predators lurking in the shadows. It feels like every other day now, a massive content creator gets exposed for having some sort of inappropriate relationship with a minor. Now, this video is going to be a quick one because I don't plan on dissecting each individual case thoroughly, and there are already so many YouTube channels that dedicated to doing so, so I would definitely encourage y'all to check those out, but I'm just tired of seeing these predators up and down my timeline every single time I open up a social media app. Recently, Chris Tyson, a close associate, good friend, and team member of the biggest YouTuber on the platform, Mr. Beast, was just exposed for having inappropriate relationships with multiple different minors. And this is just one of many large content creators with direct access to children through their platforms who have engaged in such acts. Dr. Disrespect is another one who may instantly come to mind as well, who was at one point one of the largest streamers in the world before getting banned for his conversations with the minor whom he was talking to while married. And how about Cody Ko, a massive channel with millions of subscribers who was just recently exposed for allegedly sleeping with another YouTuber when she was a minor as well. What is going on? Now there is clearly a big problem here. I mean, all of these stories broke in just, what, the last couple of months? And there's so many more I haven't even mentioned. Why are so many big content creators getting exposed for this. A lot of people like to attack them each individually on a case-by-case -case basis, but there's clearly a larger issue at play here. I mean, we are in the middle of a mental health crisis and we're not really talking about it. I mean, if you even wanna call it that. I mean, something is obviously going on. Look, I don't know what specifically to pin all the blame on. I don't know if depravity within our society has reached critical levels or what, but these people are sick. And in today's day and age, these people probably spend more time with other people's children than their own parents. These are the people who your child spends all day watching on their iPad. These are the people who run the Discord servers your child hangs out in for hours, etc. And if you're not alarmed and completely mortified by the sheer amount of influencers and celebrities who've been exposed recently for being predators, then what should alarm you is the amount of people coming to their defense online. I mean, how exactly have we even gotten to this point where this sort of shit is normalized? And it's totally hypocritical as well, because if a person they didn't like was caught doing the same things, they'd be ripping them a new one on social media. These are totally brainwashed people who are blinded by their own infatuation and obsession for somebody who doesn't actually even care about them. And if big influencers are going to use their platforms to engage in inappropriate contact with minors, they should be immediately banned, regardless of the subscriber count, it shouldn't matter. Just like how EDP was banned off of everything for his situation, the same should go for whoever else that has overwhelming evidence stacked against their names. The allegations against Chris Tyson are just getting worse and worse, and as far as I know, Chris Tyson is still on YouTube, Instagram, Discord, and various other platforms, even though these platforms are being utilized to prey on minors, according to the messages and other things the multiple alleged victims have come forward with. Big influencers are selectively deciding who and who not to condemn and be vocal about due to a myriad of reasons, and they owe it to their audiences to properly and wholeheartedly condemn the individuals who engage in such acts on the platforms they share, and especially if they've collaborated with said individuals. Every single creator in Mr. Beast's recent video should be condemning Chris Tyson right now. They have exposed their audiences, many of which are mostly made up of children, to a channel in close association with a predator. They have unknowingly created a direct connection to this individual, and you have a duty to your audience to condemn them and cut all ties. And the amount of instances in which predators have used platforms like Snapchat and Discord to get in contact and take advantage of minors is absolutely unbelievable. First of all, there should be better measures in place to make sure that adults cannot contact children on these platforms in the first place. And too many parents are totally asleep at the wheel. There should be zero reason your child is in frequent contact with a grown-ass individual having inappropriate conversations and it's flying completely under your radar. Celebrity after celebrity, influencer after influencer, every week there's a new predator on the scene and the ball just keeps on rolling. And we can call out each individual one by one all we wish, and we should, but we have to discuss what's causing all of this. 
Why is this happening? Especially at the rate at which it is. Why are so many people so protective of people who prey on minors? Why are so many influencers completely silent or walking on eggshells about this? Why aren't these platforms taking better measures to assure the safety of the children that use them? Something weird is going on here and there's too many questions to ask and we need to find answers. These are sick people and children are often too naive to be able to protect themselves or even recognize that they're being taken advantage of or victimized. Too many celebrities, influencers, and people in positions of power are turning a blind eye to the predators they hang out with, knowing damn well what they're up to. And when they finally get exposed for their actions, they throw them under the bus and act like they had no idea what was going on. These people aren't stupid. They're smart enough to amass followings in the multi-millions. Many of them know a lot more than you think. They just simply pretend not to until their time is up. I know this video is about a pretty dark topic, but I owe it to my audience to warn people about what's going on out here just to keep everybody as safe as I possibly can and get the word out there. Uh, you know, expose these creeps, and I love seeing these creeps constantly get exposed, but I hate that this is so common in the space currently. It just seems like a new person, you know, that a lot of people love out there they're getting exposed for stuff like this and it's crazy and it's sad and it's it's scary for a lot of people so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoy the rest of y'all's day uh stay healthy stay safe peace